Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom. So, considering how the previous video I did do some Beast East related stuff, I did want to do some more Beast East, but I kind of want to do something in between that that's kind of, you know, like a separator for that. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spending this video doing more patented, sweet, beautiful cookie odyssey stuff because we were on the verge of doing a bunch of that uh basically when all this was uh starting basically before this update was happening during the rubble cookie so why not we continue on with that story i don't know where the next primary area we need to go is it solarium unity because that costs 16 we'll just check everything here uh 13 there was a 7 11 i could go for a 7 11 right now man how long has it been since i visited one i think i only visited one ever and that was back in illinois when i took a small vacation uh whatever anyway i guess uh the main big area we need to visit is the solarium Evenity, but we have to check everywhere else first before we even manage to do that i did get a few extra missions done but uh there's still a solid amount that i can get done anyway because i only finished three today but with that being said if you want to leave your questions and comments on this video, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. So, with that being said, I'll also read comments from the video, he never knew about this from the Kiki Odyssey, which, that for some reason has so many comments and I have no idea why, that nearly peaked at like 3,000 views I think, and that video just blew up for some reason. I have no idea why it blew up, but apparently just did, but I think we should just do one cutscene, then I'll read a few questions and comments and stuff like that. So I guess we'll start this off by going to Pierre Vanilla Kiki's chamber. Let's see what he's up to. Ah, Ginger Brave. Good morning. Hi. Can I come in? <laughs> he looks so filled with wonder, like, can I come in, please? Of course. How could I refuse a visit from one of my dearest friends? Sit down. I have just prepared a fresh pot of tea. Fancy a cup? Thanks. I am glad that you came. You see, there is something I wanted to tell you. What Clotted Cream Cookie said yesterday. Without a doubt, his proposition caught everyone by surprise. But, but I think what he said was not entirely without merit. More than once have I seen the closest of friends become bitter enemies due to a greed for greater power. When power is in disbalance, it can only bring bitter jealousy and hatred. The power I am speaking of is our soul jam. So you want to do as Clotted Cream Cookie says? I have not decided yet, but it is time everyone heard the truth. At today's council, I will have to make an important confession. You know, it's kind of weird when he says it like that, because you think about the stuff that's happening with the current update in Cookie Run Kingdom, and like... I don't know, when you think back, because now we know the existence of n uh, older ancient, like ancient ancients, if that makes sense. And uh, I think it was, I don't know how exactly it happened, how they turned corrupt, but I think it was just because of their own power that caused them to get corrupt. And that's how they get locked away. And these other cookies, being the ancients that we know and love now, were able to, you know, become the ancients we know and love now because they were able to hold their soul jam better. But it's if it comes to that... I don't know, maybe Clotted does have a point? Mmm, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Anyway, Smart and Spiral left a few comments. One saying, oh gosh, currently have 169 cookie cutters. Need some, need more for the cookie cutters. I think you have enough, but I think I have way more. So, uh, they, sometimes when I say it's enough, sometimes it's never enough. Another comment you left is, one time I was rewatching the final episode of The Last Cookie Standing. It's a great episode, and that was cool because Cream Unicorn Cookie is happy that they won. Yeah, spoiler alert, Cream Unicorn won. I mean, the episode's been out for a few weeks now. Well, actually, not a few weeks. I think it's just over a week or something. But, uh, it really wasn't surprising, but at the same time, it was kind of satisfying. Because, uh, come on. Let's let's have the happiest cookie win. Like, I feel like if Affogato won, it would kind of leave a bad taste in other people's mouths. I And that sounded way more weird than I intended it to. I don't know, that's just me. But, whatever. Anyway... The last comment I'll read from Smart and Spiral says, Oh my, Cloudy Cream Cookie didn't know who she is? Well, maybe if we find out who White Lily Cookie is in the 30 anniversary update. Don't worry. Slowly but surely, we're finding out who she is. Which is good. Anyway, let's go to Hollyberry Cookie. Oh, we can go to... Maybe in order, we'll go to Hollyberry Cookie Chamber and then Dark House Tent. And I think that's where... This is where, we're like, Ginger Brave just go ahead and, like, visits everyone, I guess. Hello. Hollyberry Cookie? Are you there? Oh, oh come in! Wildberry Cookie and I were in the middle of a game of chess. And I'm so glad that you came. Is it because you're eating the pieces? Because I hate to lose. Oh, okay. That, sorry, that makes a lot more sense. The council will begin soon. How are you holding up? Ah, that's right. 
We have a council to go to. I hope this one ends without a fight. Huh. Mm, council clotted cream cookie keeps making things complicated. Oh, don't even get me started. That cookie's up to something. I'll bet my last barrel of juice on that. Still, not so long ago, I met my granddaughter, Princess Cookie. You remember her, right? Someday she will have to lead the Hollyberry Kingdom into the future. And you know what I thought? I don't want her to inherit all these Soul Jam Wars from us. Isn't it our duty to do all in our power so that the future generations can live in peace? <sighs> a difficult choice. Is it not? <laughs> Perhaps a glass of juice before the council session will help me decide. I, I think that'd be even worse. <laughs> Absolutely not, my lady. <laughs> you will need a clear head more than ever. Uh, you are just one big Walking rule book. I mean, they have the body structure of a, they have a body structure of the rule book, to be honest. All right. Well, I guess her point of view is like she doesn't want to give up her uh, her soul jam primarily because of the fact that she doesn't want to. If she were to give it up, it would primarily be for Princess Kiki to kind of inherit, you know, leading the Hollyberry Kingdom. But Hollyberry doesn't want to give that up primarily because she doesn't want that burden to be given to Princess, and she wants the future to be loved with peace and stuff. Which, that's completely understandable. But also, let's read a few more comments before we get on to uh, what Dark Cow has to say, because I'm pretty sure they're going to have some very strong words. If Hollyberry's words weren't strong enough, then these are going to hit like a giant sword. Uh, Guard Shroom left a comment saying, Just so you know, since you asked, Oyster and Clotted Cream are releasing the Kiki Odyssey update. Captain Caviar released a few months after them. Alright, because then... Cause, am I being an idiot? Captain Caviar and Candy Diver released like alongside each other, or is that completely different? No, it must have been, because like... Man, I'm getting that confused myself, so I guess that makes... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting all my updates mixed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, another comment from uh, Luzil Muller saying, How did you get so many quills? I'm struggling to get quills over here. Uh, you can do a lot of quests. I know you can only do 10 per day, but that's basically just 20 days worth of quests if you really just stick your mind to it. Like, these are easy. I can do all these, but uh, I'm just sticking around doing other videos and stuff. But a uh, last comment I'll read until I get to the next cutscene. Coming from Tangible Pepper saying, Common question of the day, I think I'm the most excited for the new cookies. The lore about the previous heroes is awesome. True, you gotta be honest, the new lore with the new, uh, the previous heroes is gonna be pretty interesting in regards to the Cookie Run King lore. Anyway, let's go through the tent. Uh, I think Frenchy Chip also might be there too, for all I know. Ginger Brave, to what do I owe your visit? Just thought I'd take this chance to see you before the council starts. True. Ah, uh, the council. Mark my words, I will not hold back this time. Great. To share our soul jam. Outrageous. I will not fall victim to the scheming of this deceitful clotted cream cookie. I get that. After all, your sword has a special meaning for you. Even more so after what happened. Mm. What is it you are trying to say? I, um... I only wanted to say that you and Dark Choco Cookie, because of your sword, you know. I am ashamed of what you had to witness. That's, I mean, it's hard to really describe what happened there. I mean, it's basically just saying like, you know, you know, Darky Cow, first of all, doesn't want anything to do with Clotted Cream. But then again, Gingerbread kind of proves like the reason why he shouldn't lose his soul, uh, soul gem is because... You know, it held powerful meaning after he lost it, after what uh, the Cookies of Darkness had done, and Dark Shock leaving him. Which, to be fair, it does prove Dark Cacao cares. And I think that's something powerful we all need to take into consideration. He actually does care a lot. But, with that being said, I'll probably do one more cutscene before I read a comment question of the day. Because uh, there's other stuff I gotta get to. Uh, but anyway, there's actually a pretty long comment from AGamer360. I'm as well saying, Comic Course of the Day. I don't feel that hug for the New Kingdom update. Like, there's so many things about it that I don't feel like it. Especially that now that they're bloating with the five horsemen of the apocalypse, which are the fallen heroes. The fact that they released White Lily way too soon after Golden Cheese. Also, Link that Devastus is going through major reorganizations due to them being a defunct. Yeah, def oh, deficit for six consecutive quarters. The fact that they'll remove the French version. I don't know. Part of me feels like. You know, with all that stuff going on, what they're trying to do is they're trying to think of a way where, like, all right, this stuff that we had planned for later, I guess we just got to go all out now for our updates and see if we can kind of make some of a make a profit out of it. Which, to be fair, <laughs> I all I'm saying is, remember that video where I got Pierre Vanilla's costume? I'm just saying my friend was trying to get that costume and they already like dropped a whole paycheck on it. So I think Dev Sisters is 
I think those sisters know what they're doing. I I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I think they know what they're doing. <laughs> anyway, white, uh, the white lily greenhouse. Give it a look. Oh, melon cookie. You cannot mistake this brilliance with any other cookie. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Yet I do admit, this intoxicating white lily aroma can trick anyone. Thus, I forgive you. Thanks, I guess. What are you doing here? You see, I arose early in the morning and have been trying to put my thoughts in order ever since. All those otherworldly enemies we met in our quest. Brave cookie warriors facing them. The decision only seems difficult, while it's actually fairly simple. The heroes must share their soul jam. Only this way our world can be saved. And naturally, my thoughts brought me to this beautiful place. Paralleled only by the- <laughs> Paralleled only by the beauty of your faithful. Aw, oh, these flowers pale in comparison to me, don't you think? <laughs> right, right, Iru. Well, enjoy yourself. Looks like Madeline Kiki has his own concerns at times. I mean, that that's bound to happen whenever you're trying to pick a side. It's like, do they gotta keep the soul jam, or do they gotta get rid of the soul jam? Oh, wait, and the council hall is already available. Oh, I... Did I accidentally... Wait, the, uh, these are Hollyberry Cookie's chambers. The air smells faintly of berry juice. Then how does it smell down here in the dark chocolate tent? Uh, the dark cacao camp is empty now. Okay. And I guess lastly, we'll just do an extra check on pure vanilla chambers. Yeah, these are pure vanilla cookie chambers. Air filled with warmth. Well, that's sweet. Alright, so I guess I'll read the comment question of the day as right now, because we're basically 12 minutes into this video, which is shocking. Which, then I think I can get all of these questions done, and I guess I can leave the council hall for uh, the next episode, the next time I do this. Uh, but for a common question of the day... Mm, I, I, I remember when I asked something about the island, like, last episode, like, a strand on that. I wanted to ask something similar to that, but, uh... All right, let's do something funny. All right, let's say you're in the candy aisle of a store and your ma is like checking out. Like your ma, your dad, whatever your parents you have, uh, you're checking out. But they tell you uh, within the amount of time that you have, you got to pick one candy. You just have to choose one candy before you go. What candy are you choosing? And this isn't even like, oh, any sort of like favorite candy you need to choose. Just like if you happen to pass by a candy that you just want to go ahead and get before you go ahead and get on out of the store, what are you choosing? Like, let's say you have like 30 seconds to choose. You got to pick quick. What do you want? You want something that you you can see that's kind of like oh in the packaging that's like vibrant colors or are you gonna like try and scan close and importantly to like maybe oh you maybe see like a pack of Reese's so you probably want something peanut butter or maybe you see some Snickers because maybe you want some nuts and uh I think it was it nut, uh, nuts nougat and caramel or maybe you want like a nice crisp butterfinger like it really just depends like it's kind of like a rush question kind of like oh you only have 30 seconds or even 10 seconds to choose at that point because uh, sometimes people can tend people scan sometimes fast i mean it really depends uh be sure to tell me down in the comment section below it's kind of silly but i think it's kind of unique because uh, i was thinking about the scenario the other day and it was kind of funny but i think where would we want to go to find uh uh, espresso. I think in the it's either Crow's Nest in or Ma I think Magic Academy. I think that's where we'll see uh, Espresso, and we'll see what their side of things has to offer. You can never try again. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, didn't work. You gotta really care for it. Care, care. Yeah. Uh, didn't work. I wish I could help you, but I must go and help out at the end. Sure, go later. Yeah. Yeah. I, j I just can't. Uh, hey, what's up? Am I interrupting something? No, I, I learned a dehydration spell today, but it doesn't work. So I was doing my other homework. I skipped lunch because of this silly spell, and now I, I'm so hungry that I can't focus. Hey, maybe you could bring me something to eat? Well, maybe I got something in store. We have a lot of, we have a lot of fluffy omorises. Omorice? I think that's the term. Well, we got that quest done for you, so we may as well just get that done. Easy peasy. Thank you, Ginger Brave. Now that my tummy's full, I feel more confident. Huh, awesome. Why don't you try your spell again? I want to see how it works out. Remember to think of it with care. All right, phew, here we go. Huh? The fresh plum grape shriveled and shrank? Perfection! That's a spell turning grapes into raisins. Huh, a bit more practice and I'll make all your jelly beans and jelly berries completely dry. You'll see. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Probably not. I'd say it's only a good idea if you don't, uh, if you want to store them for, uh, long-term purposes, like... It, it's kind of like dehydrators and stuff like that. I don't know. But let's go over and take a visit to the plaza, I guess. There's also some other comments I forgot to read, but we'll just do the cutscene for- Ouch! <laughs> Your song, Hamnita! My bad! I didn't see you there, little rookie! Yanayo! Uh, I'm alright. Bumping into a soft and squishy bear jelly doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> what was that you said, by the way? Oh, I merely apologize for my clumsiness. Mine, I... Oh, I come from the Republic. Um, a business trip. I merely use a local expression. A business trip? That's... Th th that's awesome. 
<laughs> I'm a merchant. If you excuse me, I have deals to make. My business can't wait. There is a great interest in your kingdom back in the Republic. I must not miss the opportunity. Ah, a bear jelly for the Republic, I see. I couldn't help but wonder why you smelled so oceany and creamy. <laughs> so why so shy? I too hail from the glorious Republic. Just tell me if you need anything. I will spare no efforts to help a fellow Republican. If I have the time, of course. Really? I do need help. Please, I need to find local goods that could interest the Republicans. Your help me will be the most welcome. Is this another quest? Uh, a lot of- that's a lot of shiny glass. But luckily we got the shiny glass, here you go. So, now we can see the other part of this cutscene. Then we'll, we, got, we, we gotta read a few comments after that. Oh, splendid! These will go like hotcakes! You have a good eye, and I have a good eye for good eyes. Oh, thanks. No bear jelly has complimented me before. I quite like it. <laughs> Especially since the only bear jellies I've seen are criminals. I want you to have this. A valuable item for the Republic. Oh, made in the Crumb Republic. Always a pleasure to see something from home. Ta-da! Here, a magazine featuring Sarah Madeline Cookie, the Star Paladin. For some reason, no one wished to purchase this, but uh, it's a valuable and rare magazine indeed. <laughs> He's offended. <laughs> you may have one as well. Grant one, get another one for free. Oh, I'm good. Uh, safe travels, friend. Oh, Madeline is pissed. <laughs> like, why do people not want a magazine about me? What's going on? <laughs> anyway, here's the extra few comments. One from Undercover Elixir says, The discussion of caviar being a super epic was talked about when Kiki Odyssey originally came out. Please finish it, by the way. Listen. Videos are coming out slowly but surely, but I also need to focus on the new story, but it's a good thing that we're making videos on this right now. We're trying our hardest. Also, there's a few comments from an idiot, with one saying, uh, Fleming, today was my second session on a D&D campaign that my friend was running, and it was a boss rush, and one of our players died and were knocked unconscious, but we do not know the DM left us a cliffhanger. Well, hopefully you get on that, and hopefully you beat those bosses. And your other comment says, I did it. I figured out how to fully control the creme brulee. Here, uh, here is the team you want. Coral, Sea Fairy, Crystal Jam at level 20. That's gonna take some time. Uh, Shark Pal, aka Sorbet Shark, with a Magic Candy level 10+, plus. Snapdragon, and Parfait. Hmm. Okay. How to count- Oh, that's how to just count- Oh, I thought you said control, not counter. Oh, okay, that's how to counter it. Okay. But, uh, anyway, uh, the last comment I'll read from you says, Common question, everything. Well, makes a lot of sense. Let's go to the inn. Because I'm pretty sure that one cookie's gonna try and help there. Oh, more heap! Uh, come in. Come in. Uh, wh what, what can I get you? I'm famished. Got anything to eat? Today we have raisin bread, raisin jellies, and, of course, raisins. Eat as much as you like, please. Huh? Ah. Uh, these are not bad at all. Least sweet thing I've had here. Tasty. Hey, got any more of those? I'll take some for my cream wolf. Oh, wow. It's been a while since someone approached our food and just appreciated our food. What are those black chunks in his dough? Could it be? Those those tiny black blitz, yeah. I know raisins when I see them. That's a cookie we can trust. <sighs> That's why I call a good meal. How much? For you? It's on the house. Make sure to come again. Oh, uh, I don't think those are raisins. I think those are chocolate chips. But that's also sweet at the same time. <laughs> I mean, raisins are sweet, but whatever. Also, anyway, so there's a few comments from uh, Mona Wolf Deer. One saying, comment question, everything. Another person who said everything. Fantastic. Another comment says, uh, I got diamond rank in both goblin peppercorn cookies and happy. Oh, you got diamond rank in their trial? Oh, proud of you. And your last comment says, and back from shower. Well, I hope you smell good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to, actually, that was a, some sort comment, so I'll read uh, another one, which comes from uh, Fraffle, which has 11 likes, surprisingly, saying, I really hope some of the Odyssey cookies come back in Beasties, even if it's very unlikely, though I am very excited for the new Shadow Ancient, especially Shadow Milk. Oh, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for the reveal of that, too, personally. Uh, I guess let's go ahead into the garden. <sighs> uh, that cookie. <sighs> How dare. Looks like you need a moment to catch your breath. You've been training so hard. Pure Vanilla Kiki said that breathing is harder at this height. Breathing is not the problem. I'm angry. You. You've been in the Darky Cow Kingdom, right? You've seen what harsh conditions we live in, yeah? Knee deep snow, piercing wind, cold that can instantly freeze your jellies, and dire beasts that roam the grounds. We all owe our lives to our great King Darky Cow Cookie and his soul jam. We could just hand it over. 
Uh, right. Yeah. Let me tell you a story. We were hunting in the mountains, and the trap froze. Oh, my cream wolf, hungry. Whew. Crunchy chip kicky up. Are you alright? Uh, guess I was talking too fast. Uh, I need to... I need to catch my breath. I... I must rest. I'll be seeing you. Sounds like whenever I do a video, I just talk too fast. Ooh, inner comedy. Beautiful. Anyway, Anna Suza loved the comment saying, I'm most excited for White Lily Kiki. Let's be honest, who wouldn't be? White Lily, White Lily Kiki is probably the star of the show. Also, Sonic Gamer left a comment saying, I'm so close to wrapping up Kiki Odyssey. All I have left to do is clear day five of chapter three, and I'm done with Kiki Odyssey for us for, uh, for good. Ooh. I wonder if that means day five is going to be the last day for chapter one. Because it is looking really close. Because we're at 75%, basically nearly 75% of the way there. All right, so let's also read a comment from uh, KYSU Silly Goosey just saying, oop. Well, hopefully I'm not going to kill myself. And also, Kristen04 left a comment saying, comment question. I'm more excited about the story and lore, but I still can't wait for the new cookies. P.S. The day update going to happen is also the day I have a dentist appointment, so I'm going to miss a little, which, uh, I'm going to miss a little bit, which kind of sucks. Also, hope you're doing great with the story. Sorry for the comment is uh, very long. Don't worry, it's not that long. Don't worry, I've seen longer comments, trust me. But now let's go to the Claude Cream Cookies Chamber. Let's see what you have to say. Ah, Ginger Brave. Welcome. A splendid morning, is it not? Yep, preparing for today's council session. Listen, I think I found a solution. Why take the Soul Jams to the Republic when you can just study it here? Hmm, unfortunately, it is impossible. Neither the Kiki Kingdom nor the Vanilla Kingdom have the required equipment available. The Krem Republic's research facilities are by far more advanced. Our technology is more refined and our scientists' training is unparalleled. Preparing the lab uh, laboratory will take us a ridiculous amount of time. We simply cannot afford that. Whoa. Your Republic must be an awesome place. The world is on the brink of a great crisis. We must not spend a second on petty arguments. The sooner we reach the Republic, the better. Okay, is this going to lead to a quest? No, but... Ooh... 700 crystals, that's a bonus! Okay, so, should we, you, should we do the Solarium of Solarium Immunity as, like, the very last cutscene? I think we probably should. But, uh, with that being said, I'll read only, like, two more comments. Once coming from Shafira Raganastagaf saying, Hey, Hyperhounds, if Custer Kiki the Third was brainwashed by Dark Enchanted Kiki, will you literally go berserk, and what would you do to save him? A. Kill Dark Enchanted Kiki. B. Turn, to her stone, turn her into stone. C. Sacrifice her soul jam. Uh, probably turn her into stone. Because... Uh, I probably wouldn't want to kill her. That would make me look like the bad person. Sacrifice my soul jam. Uh, I think that just means they get too much power and they would destroy everything. If I just turn her into stone, then that can also mark as a trophy as one as the one I did, and everyone gets saved. And the last comment is actually a comment question from Prince Lee the First, which is really long, saying comment question today. I'm most excited for the new story in this update. The theory is back in an era when iron and flame was used for bad, with a witch made five heroes to save the day. Wait, did you just? Did you just copy and paste the story of the stuff, or, uh... Because I'm, just, you're just kind of, like, re-describing the story. I don't want the comment to get too long. Okay, but we'll say that you are excited for the story because of everything that it has to offer. Pretty nice. Oh, there's also a bonus comment I'm read from Flower saying, at 12.24, to be honest, what Lily's being playable and having a banner where she has a higher drop chance. That would be good to have. Let's do this, and we're, we're going to end the video, because how long is this video? We're at 23 minutes, nearing at 24. Let's do it. Wildberry Kiki. What are you doing here? Hmm. I was looking at the beautiful stained glass. Hollyberry Cookie's Im uh, image looked most awe-inspiring. The artisans managed to capture the very essence of her soul. The villagers will be happy to hear that you like this uh, place. They worked hard to make the glass shine once again. Listen, I I noticed how you looked at Hollyberry Cookie. You really do respect her a lot. I mean, I know you have your orders and all, but isn't there more to it? Yes, Gingerbreif. As a knight, I do serve the Hollyberry Kingdom. But I follow the Queen Mother not because of any orders. I'm... I'm indebted to her. If it weren't for Hollyberry Cookie's help... Huh? Indebted? If it weren't for her help, I would have roamed the back alleys fighting for survival with nothing but my fists. Huh? That's right. I met Her Majesty when I was just a young vagrant. I was reckless enough to challenge her, unknowing of who she was. Hollyberry Cookie showed me the error of my ways. <laughs> I can imagine. When we first met, she wore a disguise, too. Yes, a cookie of great strength, but great humbleness. The experience was eye-opening. I was a rough street kid, but she treated me with kindness, like family. Most importantly, she taught me how to fight over something that matters. That's why I'm here. Wow. If Hollyberry Cookie brought you here, she must trust you a lot. Hmm. 
The Heroes have discussed many important matters. I am but a simple warrior, and it is hard to tell what is right. But I believe in Hollyberry Cookie's judgment. Her choice is my choice, for I trust her with my life. Okay, so there's only one more cutscene available here, but we're definitely going to save that for the next video because we actually used up quite a lot of quotes here. I probably got to stack some back up. So for now, we're going to end the video right here because this video is proper long enough. All I'm just going to say is if Hollyberry agrees to give away her soul jam, then technically that means also Wildberry's on her team now. But I don't think that's going to be the case at all. But Pure Vanilla Cookie seems to be stuck on that, so... I don't know. Anyway, with that being said, uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker Run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I need in the future. Uh, also, down below in the description, oh, I'm gonna burp. <coughs> yep, there we go. Uh, also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker Run YouTube stuff for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Beats Hub. A link to my uh, merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my Kofi or for $1, $5, or $10 a month, you will receive exclusive perks and benefits that you would usually see either later or not even at all on the Hyper Himes channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.